Hello and welcome to Console Cowboy. So in this section's reading, we talked about random values and how we need these for things like gaming algorithms or encryption schemes. But it's hard to find a random value on the blockchain which isn't predictable. So oftentimes developers use stuff like block hashes and block timestamps, but these particular values can be manipulated by miners or are predictable in general. And these values are therefore not really random enough for our uses in any sensitive functions. In order to illustrate a usage of bad randomness on the blockchain, I have a simple smart contract within Remix. And what this smart contract does is it gets a block number, it hashes that block number with block hash, and that's it. But the problem with block hash and block number is, if a block is older than 256 blocks when it's hashed, it will return the result of zero. I often see this used on the blockchain within algorithms, but it kills the algorithm depending on when it is processed. And then I have a waste time function down here, which is just gonna help us go through 256 blocks so we can illustrate this point. So let's set this up and then we'll run through it and you'll see what happens. In order to set this up, we're gonna have to use ganache because if we run a block hash within the JavaScript VM, it's not gonna function properly. I noticed that during my testing. So what we're gonna do is open up our terminal and we're gonna do a ganache CLI and then we're going to connect that with our Web3 provider, just like we did in previous labs. So there's nothing new there. We'll wait for the accounts to populate. They just did. And then we're going to deploy these. So let's compile, hit deploy. And what we have here is we have our functions in orange and then we have our values in blue. So if we do a get block number, we could check our block number. It's block number two. And then we can run a check hash function, get our hash value, and that's the hash of our block number. So that all appears to be working. And if we now use our waste time function and we're at block three, so let's go up to block 259. So I'm gonna hit the waste time button a bunch of times and then we'll restart this video. All right, and we're back. So now what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna run the check hash function on the same block number because we didn't get a new block number. And then we're gonna check the value. And we end up with the value of zero because the block numbers are discarded after 256 and return a result of zero. So if you were to use this within any kind of algorithm, it would screw up the results and be a lot less random and probably not suitable for any sensitive functionality. I really wanted to show this because often when I'm doing some kind of source code review, I see indications of bad randomness, but I never actually see why it's bad. So I wanted to show an example on the blockchain where something bad can really happen based on the way the blockchain works. So hopefully that all made sense. And in the next video, we'll look at a little bit more of a comprehensive example to illustrate this point. So I'll see you then. If you liked the video and you learned something, please like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends.